Well, Ron Clark, he's a teacher here in Atlanta, and he initially set out to get his students' attention. Now he's got a lot of people's attention. He's got some pretty unconventional teaching methods that could end up changing education as we know it. At least he hopes so. Oprah is paying attention. He's got the attention of the White House as well. He keeps getting high marks, but he never set out to be a teacher in the first place. I spent a day at Ron Clark Academy, and you will see right now just what makes this place so different. This isn't a music class or choir. It's language arts class. Yet these middle school students are singing about possessive nouns. Singing a grammar lesson is just one of the non-traditional hey. teaching methods you'll find in classrooms at Ron Clark Academy. Hey. It's a lot different from the first classroom Ron Clark walked into 15 years ago in North Carolina. This kid looked down and he said, is you going to be our new teacher? And I was like, I guess so. He was only there because his mom convinced him to fill in as a substitute. He had a college degree but no teaching license and no desire to become a teacher. But that day changed his life and taught him a lesson that has shaped his teaching philosophy. You can't teach the way that we used to teach kids. I mean, these kids have iPods and video games and movies and all this stuff that's going on, and they're text messaging. You can't just bring kids in and have them sit down and expect them to stare for an hour. Clark Academy is different. You notice that immediately upon walking in the front door and are greeted by a two-story electric blue slide. And it's not just for the kids. Every visitor to the school is required to get slide certified. Clark and Kim Bearden co-founded the private middle school in a rough Atlanta neighborhood in 2007. They kept it private so they'd be free to experiment. Tuition to the school is about 18 grand a year, and just about all of the 100 or so students are on scholarships. And though there are only about 100 students enrolled, Clark says his real mission is teaching teachers. When teachers come to our school, they see color, life, and energy, and they see students that are on fire, students that want to learn. Every kid's sitting up, paying attention. The kids are raising their hands, and the teachers are just electric. We're using music and energy, and it's hands-on, and there's art and color and extremely high expectations. All right, y'all, you have a test on that tomorrow. Practice for it. After a visit to his school, Clark hopes teachers will take what they learned and implement it in their own classrooms across the country, leading to what Clark calls a revolution in education. When we sing these songs, it actually helps us to remember. And even though education reform can seem like a big, expensive, and complex problem, Clark doesn't think the solution is big, expensive, or complex at all. People just need to listen to me. <laughs> well, I, wish, I wish the government would just listen and people would say, you know, he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> it's that other, simple. It's that simple. Let me hear y'all. It all involves with the teacher. You can talk about the state government. You can talk about principal superintendents. It, it all comes down to finding passionate people who want to teach. We have to give teachers more freedom, trust them more, and allow them to use their own creativity to fire up their students in the way they know that they need to be. His results can be measured with the enthusiasm you see in the hallways and classrooms and on standardized test scores. His students hosted major gains in practically every subject and scored in some cases in the top 70, 80, and 90 percentile compared to other students in the country. But perhaps the biggest place his success shows is on the faces and in the hearts and minds of these students. Um, our motto at the school is like, there's no room for fear. So I've learned to put myself out there and just get what I get. Not only does it teach you how to be academically great, but it teaches you how to be a global citizen and a global leader.
love the excitement on their faces. <laughs> you don't see that at school. You just yeah. don't we see that. We didn't stand on tables we and dance around and sing like. I mean, that's great because it, it just it makes you want to learn. If you're there and you want to be there, you will learn. That is the idea behind it. And you heard the last song there. You know, they got a lot of attention last year with the the TI song. The TI song. You can vote however you like. That was their new song you heard at the One end. One of your favorites, and Damn. it's by Miley Cyrus. Everybody. I love that Miley Cyrus. It's a great Cyrus song. song. Part in the catchy. USA. Yeah. They put their own hook on it about health care. It's a problem in the USA, but they have been getting some attention for that one, too. But the point, again, they only have 100 students in the school, uh -huh. but they bring in thousands, about 3,000 a year. Teachers just visit to observe the to methods. Learn, He's yeah. hoping they will take that to their classrooms, and it will spread and quite, like he says, quite frankly, start a revolution in education.